talking today is gram stain. Gram stain is the method to classify two bac bacterial species into two large groups. One is gram positive, that stains purple, here you can see, and the other one is gram negative, that stains red or pink, here you can see. This is also the first step in identification of bacteria and a valuable diagnostic tool in clinical and research centers. And this technique also gives rise to gram variable bacteria. These bacteria do not respond to their stain. Uh, for example, mycobacterium groups. This is named after his scientist Hans Christian Gram. He developed this technique in the morgue of a hospital in Berlin in 1884. Uh, but the final step to the staining was aided by a German Jewish pathologist Karl Widget. Here you can see Hans Christian Gram. There are four basic steps of Gram staining. First, we will add a crystal violet dye to the cells present on a slide. Then the cells will color uh, purple. And after that, we will add iodine. This iodine will go and form crystal violet iodine complex, but still the cells are purple. And after rinsing the slide, we will add organic solvent that might be acetone, ethanol, or alcohol to decolorize the gram-negative cells to, uh, by extracting the purple dye from their cell walls. And it is, com is compared to the gram-positive bacteria. So the gram-negative bacteria appears colorless, and gram-positive are still purple. At the end, we will add a saffronine dye that is counter to stain the gram-negative bacteria red or pink and the gram-positive are purple. So the procedure is there. You can see we applied the crystal violet dye on the bacteria present on this slide. And then we applied the iodine to make a, uh, iodine, a crystal violet iodine complex. After that, we washed it with any uh, organic solvent that might be alcohol to decolorize this. Here you can see in this circular picture, the gram-negative bacteria are decolorized and positive are purple. Next, uh, you will add the counter stain that is saffronine to uh, colorize the gram-negative bacteria pink or red. And at the end, you can preview them under the microscope in oil immersion lens. This one, and this is the preview under microscope. This is the procedure. We use a gram stain to distinguish many bacteria, the gram positive and gram negative bacteria. And we also use this procedure for the choice of antibiotic, as we know that uh, gram positive bacteria are more susceptible to antibiotics like penicillin G as compared to gram negative bacteria. The importance of this uh, procedure is that it is rapid or quicker than the cultures and it also provides us a remarkable difference when we are making patients treatment or diagnosis. For example, in uh, meningitis, we will make a gram stain for cerebrospinal fluid. And this is also performed on body fluids and biopsy when an infection is suspected. Here you can see the CSF, the cerebrospinal fluid. Here are a list. Here is the list of gram positive and gram negative bacteria. A few important ones are Staphylococcus aureus, Actinomyces, the Escherichia coli, Haemophilus influenza, and Meningococcus. The difference between the cell walls of gram positive and gram negative bacteria is quite important because of this, the stain, uh, the cells stain purple and red. When we add organic solvent, the gram negative cells loses that color because they have a thinner cell wall as compared to the gram positive bacteria and gram-positive bacterial cell wall is uh, multi-layered as compared to gram-negative. It has dichoic acids that are antigens present on its surface and also the gram-negative bacteria have polysaccharides but gram-positive bacteria don't have. The bacteria which are medically important, as we mentioned earlier, they do not stain with the gram stain. They stain with other stains like acid fast stains uh, and gymza stains. So why they don't stain? If we consider a staining for mycobacterium tuberculosis, the stain is uh, pretty harder. Uh, it is pretty harder for this bacteria to penetrate the stain in its cell wall because it has thicker lipid-rich cell wall, wall, right? Next, we have Leginola pneumoniophila. It is really hard for this bacteria to take up the counter stain that is saffronine. Thanks for listening to me.